G'day everybody, it's Michael here from Tech and Tools and today we are going to be cleaning a keyboard. It's rather gross, so let's get into it. Okay, here's the keyboard in question. Ooh, yuck. So, it does, like this keyboard here, the what is it? Razor, oh, what is it? Razor, Bl Razor Black Widow Elite does come with a pipe. It's pretty clean. We'll give that all clean anyway. But what I'm going to do is show you how to take all these apart. Um, you have to give it a clean. And pop it all back together. So what I'll be using to clean it with is I've got some uh, multi-purpose wipes here. So once I take all the caps off. Um, which are quite easy to remove. We will clean the base of the keyboard and then I'll, as I put the new cap, the caps back on, I will give them all a, an individual clean and wipe as I put them back on. And one thing I recommend you do is take a picture, um, which I'll do right now, done, of where the caps go. So when you take them off, you don't get stuck. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, let's start by taking the caps off. <clears throat> so, and I'm gonna lie them down over there next to the keyboard in the order that they came off of. Um, so, let's get into it. Got to be a little bit careful with ones like this, and I think your space bar and your larger ones have got a little bar. So you be careful with those. got all of the caps off now so now you can see how gross it is what I'll do is I'll come to the back of the computer here and unplug the cable which one is it oh, not that one that one so we don't have the lights you can see all the ooness under there so the next step <clears throat> no, hang on. You can see here's all the caps laid out. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner. I'm going to vacuum and just up all the dust that I can. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through with some of the white, just the wires, because now it's all off, the power's off. There's no power to any of these. And I'm going to just give this all a nice good clean. And then the monotony begins with cleaning at ease each of these as they go back on. So, yep, let's get into it. Okay, so obviously I've got my, my vacuum here and ideally you wanna have like an old brush, thanks to my wife. Um, don't tell her, please. I liberated this makeup brush many moons ago for such purposes. So as I, ugh. Oh, that came out of there or not as I vacuum up I'll agitate and get everything out of there and yeah after that we will use the wipes if we need to and clean it off and start putting it all back together so let's get into it
And while we're there, this will keep the thing up too. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. All right. Looking at this for now, it is so much cleaner now. And you would ask, why would we do this? This is just to help everything last longer, keep it, you know. I mean, things like computer keyboards, you know, mouses, they're disgusting. Speaking of mice, while we're at it, we might as well clean this thing, you know. Like, these are some of the, they reckon that these things are dirtier than toilets. Because people, they just don't get the attention that, that they normally, like something like a toilet or a bathroom would, because we know it's sturdy. So, give it a clean. You should do this regularly. It's quite genius. We'll also help your stuff last longer. Alright, that's clean. We've got the mouse too. Now, we'll pop back to here. Now comes a bit of putting it all back together. killing me okay oh sorry about that all right everything works pretty good oh, beautiful 
Here we go. Oh, a little bit of an into one. Not quite clean enough for me. You'll find that your kegs, like, if you're a gamer, if you're a WASD, you know, space bar, the control, shift, and stuff like that, up and down, enters. The, the keys you hit the most are going to be the grimiest. So, there we go. Alright. Clean up my area. Right oh. So there we go. Pretty clean. Much cleaner. Let's go plug it back in. Yoink. That's in. And there we go. All clean. So, there we go. So, it takes a bit of time, it's a bit monotonous, but if you lay out, as you take the keys off, lay them out in order. Um, and be careful with the larger, um, like your space bar, your shifts, and the ones with the little, got the little, little bars on them, you know, you can, every, every keyboard's different, so be careful. Um, if you wanna, tips and tricks, you're just keeping your keyboard cleaner. Uh, don't eat and drink. In your office, in your around your gaming, you are in your keyboard, and that it's one way. Simple. Um, regularly dust it, um, so that it'll just instantly keep it cleaner. But um, no eating food and drink around it will make it last a lot longer. You won't get crumbs and junk in there, and you've got also less chance of ruining it with spillage if you spill something as well. You know these keyboards. You know they're in Australia. They're you know they're a couple hundred dollar, two three hundred dollar keyboards. You know. And these have the, as you can see, you know, these have the um, razor green switches in them, which are, as you can hear, they're quite, quite clicky and tactile, which I quite like. Just to pop this back on there, which I love. Um, yeah, so that's simple, simple cleaning. Um, as I said, just using some multi-purpose wipes. And we're done. So, um, yeah. There we go. Oh, I've got my software open here for Logitech. Whoops. Who knew? So there we go, guys. So I'd say clean the keyboard. And, um, you know, if you like my video, hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe. That would help me out a lot. Um, I'm trying to bring out, a, you know, a video every week, you know, with some content. I do have some content coming up and right into the tool side of it. I've done a fair bit of tech lately. So um, stay tuned. But until next time. This is Michael from Tech and Tools. Take it easy.